Parang di ka naman... Parang di ka naman excited, hindi ka... Wala ka sa... Ikaw mag-intro. Ikaw yung main host, eh. Hi guys! Welcome back to our another podcast. So this is our second podcast and for today's um, topic, it's gonna be people we want to meet. Well, people. You never know who that people is. <laughs> so, anyways. So, sino nga ba? Who, who are, no. Who do you want to meet? Who are the people you want to meet? <laughs> oh, here we go again. Hey! So, who are the people you want to meet? Mm. Number one. Number two. Number one. <laughs> number two. Yung pinaka number one talaga kung ano ah, <clears throat> do na alam ko na baka imposible. Pero kung gusto ko talaga ang mamit si Larry Fink. Who is Larry Fink? <clears throat> Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, para at least alam nila kung sino siya. Uh, oh, who siya is Larry Fink? CEO ng ano. CEO siya ng BlackRock. Yan yung pinakamalaki investment company sa abang mundo. And he is in? Saan siya? Sa US, yes. syempre. Was he the first? No, pero siya yung pinakamalaki. Who was the first, yeah. do you know? Anong first? First person who... Hindi. Hindi. <coughs> meron man, siyempre, di, di ko na panahon. So, pag na-meet mo siya, ano yung unang-unang gusto mong itanong or sabihin sa kanya? Paano niya yung nagawa ng hindi siya kilala ng mga tao? Ano yung mga connections niya? <laughs> Makes sense naman, kasi... Kasi, yung company niya, worth 10 trillion dollars yung in-hold na equity. Wow. 10 trillion dollars, hindi billion. Si Warren Buffett, 100 billion of dollars. Bakit wala siya sa ano? Sa Forbes? Yun yung mga gusto ko malaman. Mm. Meron pa isa. Sino pa? CEO ng Vanguard. Who is that? Um, si Bucklow Merb. Pangalan niya? CEO. Yung CEO ng Vanguard. Type mo. And Mortimer Buckley pala. Parang naririnig ko na to. Eh, when? Naririnig mo na yun? Yeah. Mm. Especially Vanguard. Mm. I've heard it <clears throat> a lot of times. But wasn't sure what Vanguard group is. Kasi tinay kong aralin yung mga, mga tao na yun. Mm. Wala masyadong info. Napaka-conservative mm. nila. I guess that's the key pag pera ang pinag-uusapan. You don't want to spread too much information. Kasi... Yeah. Ang hirap eh. It's a, it's a company, a big company, and you're handling other people's money. <coughs> which technically, you have to be confidential about it. Kasi hindi mo naman pwedeng ishare na, oh, this person is this like that, and I do it for sa ganitong paraan. Because <coughs> if you share that, then a lot of people will take advantage of it. Mm. Sometimes it can go wrong. Yeah. <coughs> So, pag na-meet mo siya, yun yung mga gusto mong tanongin. Oh, ang dami ko mga tanong eh. <laughs> Tulad ng, bigay ka. Bigay na? mo yung mga tanong na gusto mong. Ano yung mga tanong na gusto mong itanong? <laughs> tanong. Pa- paano ba? Pa- Siyempre, paano, paano nila na-handle? Paano sila nag-start? Mabuo yung hedge fund nila. Do you prefer... Wait, ano ba family background nila? Hindi ko rin na na. Hindi ko naman, hindi ko, hindi ko rin sila masyadong inaarat. Ano? Wala ba sila ang, <clears throat> wala bang, like, info kung yung parents niya is, like, you know, the, if they have, um, like, parents niya may had, like, banking. Ewan um, ko, hindi ako nag-interest na i-deep research sila. Basta alam ko lang, sila yung, sila yung pinakamalaking... <laughs> Hedge fund manager, yeah. So, my Tapos, question... pa, yun nga, paano, paano wala sila sa Forbes? Mm. <coughs> Ganun ka lang yung pera yung handle nila. 
I guess maybe some people doesn't want to be added. Siguro naman pagdating sa Forbes, you can't just add people without their permission, do you? I won't go. Hindi ko alam. I mean... Plus, meron pa nga kung ang dami ko pa nga kilala. I mean, it feels like that's like something like, it's kind of confidential. Mm-hmm. For you adding someone's name yeah. in Forbes without their permission or without them knowing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Pero yun lang naman kung gusto mamit. Pero hindi sila yung parang... Yung pick na parang ginagaya ko or something. Or parang ina-idolize ko. Mm. Ano lang? Parang, syempre kung sa inline, kung nari, basketball player ka, parang syempre gusto mong mamit yung pinakataas, di ba? Mm-hmm. Parang si, kung nari, sa basketball, di ba? Gusto mong, most likely, ay parang yung goat kasi si Michael Jordan, di ba? Ay, tamo, tamo ba ako? Eh, oh, most likely, si Michael Jordan yung gusto ngayon meet kung basketball. Yeah, kasi siya yung nauna. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Mm. Uh, game on the line, who would take the last shot? Me. That's a dumb question. Me. Pero yung ina-idolize ko talaga, hindi si Michael Jordan. Si Lebron. Huh? Bro. Ay, hindi. Si Kobe Bryant pala. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nawala na si Kobe kasi naman natidug, natidug na eh. Sorry uh, po. Pero si Kobe. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, Kobe Bryant. Yung ginagaya ko si Kobe. Ganun. I think mostly... Especially sa age. Kasi si MJ, just going to the basketball side mm-hmm. a little bit. Michael, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jordan was famous during our parents' days. Mm-hmm. Kasi. Mm-hmm. So those were like, you know, like, medyo, ano, late na. And Kobe Bryant was, became known in our age. Mm. Kaya most kids in our age mm. look up more mm. on Kobe Bryant than Michael Jordan. Because Michael Jordan retired in an early and eh. Like parang hindi siya masyadong tumagal sa NBA. <clears throat> but I know for a fact that a lot of kids during that time admire Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant admires MJ. Mm. Right? So, I think... That's a generation. Yeah, it's generation by generation. Um, I'm pretty sure. Then, then now, yung mga early na ngayon, more on Lebron. Mm. Right? Kasi si Lebron... Lebron Curry again. Yeah, Curry. Lebron, James, um, Kevin Durant, <coughs> those people. Yun na yung mga ina-admire, ina-admire ng mga kids or, you know, young adults nowadays but yeah i think i think if i don't know why people keep comparing them Mm -hmm. but for me you can't really compare them to be honest because they have their own different genre like you know when those years come uh. generation i should say Mm -hmm. they have different generation and people learn as time goes by there are tricks that people didn't know back then and now people know nowadays and it's not their fault and it's not today's mm. fault that they know that you know so yeah. for me you can't really compare something that was done in the past to something that is currently in the present mm. plus <clears throat> how would you compare someone who did not play in an actual game you know compete mm. with each other mm. diba? Paano, paano? but anyway going back to the topic mm. I just have a question. Mm. What interests you mm. about trading or hedge fudge or investing? Because nowadays investing is very scary. Mm. Dumb scammer. <laughs> yeah. FYI, guys yeah. know already. Kahit mga kilalang tao, mm. even famous people or well-known people, for some reason scam people. I don't know why. I mean. I don't know where they get that kind of idea when they're already well known. Like, why would you ruin your name? 
when it's already known by a lot of people but mm. anyways that's not where i want to go to <clears throat> my point is what attracts you or what um kind of interests you mm. or about hedgehog hedge fund hedge hedgehog hedge fund and um trading and investing or the people who does investing <clears throat> What actually is a hedge fund? I mean, I, we hear the term, but what is a hedge fund versus a mutual fund? What does it make? What's special about a hedge fund? The main things is that it's not a publicly registered uh, vehicle and it allows one to structure the portfolio to go long or short. Um, different it gives you a great leeway as to what you can do to also balance your risks and operate that way. Actually, no, 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 no. Tapos parang lately na lang investing. Okay. Kasi hindi, ewan oh, ko, namamangha ako sa, ano. Di ko In what way? Huh? What, what was the first thing that you saw? Mm. And then you said, oh, I want to do this. I want to try this. Like what? Namangha mm. ako dun sa, ano. <coughs> yung parang, yung charts ng mga... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Actually, it's attracting. Ah. Mm. Ako personally, na try ko yung. Basta may na try ako ng app. I don't wanna say the name. Let's not say the name, baka. Basta. Actually, anyway. sa news lang. Sa news. Uh, Most likely sa news. It was an app that, you know, you, you put a little bit of funds, whatever you can. Mm. And then, it's like, what was that? Normal trading. No, mm. Normal up and down charts mm, and mm. stuff and it it's interesting because when it goes up <laughs> you know you gain mm. but when it goes down you know you lose money mm. but anasha it's it's risk there's a big risk about it especially if you put a lot of money because para siyang para sugal pero hindi siya sugal because you need to learn mm. You need to know the process. It's not something that you just do just because you want money. Or it's not something that, oh, I want to try this because it looks interesting. Yeah. No, it's not like that. Yung iba, naasar nga ako pati na natawag nila na side hustle and trading. Yeah. To be honest, Kasi, kasi ako, you... napapaisip, huh? Sina side hustle mo yung pinu full time ko? <laughs> it's hard. Pa 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 parang, paano mo nagagawa? Because being with the person who do those things even yeah. i who hates numbers <laughs> i only you know how i look at trading guys because i don't really do it because i just can't i'm not that brainy for those type of things but i just look at like when it goes up like yay it's going up <laughs> but i don't i don't have much knowledge about it maybe like Siguro 1% knowledge siya. I could say 1%, pero yung sabihin mo, oh, I know it. Mm. It's not something you can learn in a day or a week or even a month. Even a year. Even a month, even, yeah, even a month, even a year. It's not something you can just mm. learn by by looking at the chart. Yeah. It's not something. Hindi lang it's more than that. There's a deep, deep learning that yeah. you need to to you stress to be, about you have to be, you know, <laughs> mentally and during yeah. that learning you can't you know the hardest part about trading as far as i know is that it needs a lot of time yeah and focus alam mo pala but more ni store ba minsan ha kasi alam kong alam mo na oh ganun ba yun <laughs> no cuz i believe in you like I know that regardless if I, I bug you a little bit, it won't bother you anymore because I know that you can manage. I know that you're good at it. I know that whatever I do to you or I tease you or whatever, you still... Mm. Dude, I saw you in, on your deepest doom mm. and you were able to get up. Thus, mm. now that I'm just like bugging you for like a few mm. sentences... I don't bother you anymore when you're doing your oh, no. That was before when I wasn't that knowledgeable how tricky it was. Mm. 
yeah back then i would like bug you but now i don't bug you i don't even ask about it like i don't even <clears throat> say anything about it because there's one thing that i don't know napaka irritable ko but i don't say anything anymore yeah eh kasi nga lagi tayong nag-aaway pag din na not only that because before <laughs> Before I don't know much about it. I don't know how hard it is. I don't even know anything about it. So parang oh, I can bug you whenever I want to. But now kasi I know that you're serious about it. I know how much you want it. So parang I let you be in your own space when it's time for you to do it. So I I bug you sometimes when you forget like hui. Babe. Mm. Yeah, I would say babe, it's already, mm. you know. <clears throat> That's the only time, but like after that Remember, I would even like do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> even do that with you. Yay! So mga may alam, di alam niyo. You pretend like you're fine, ka? Pero totoo niyo, wala na. Wala na, But but yeah, like you. S- I I just don't see it as a job for everyone. Maybe. I don't know, but yeah. for me, I don't see it that it's way. It's not for everyone. It's 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 very difficult. It's a lot stressful than you think. Yeah. Um, At sa ka ano, yun yung parang feeling ko yun yung <clears throat> job na pinaka ma lalo na yung mga naging successful mm-hmm. regards to financial. So guys, just to cut a little bit, sorry. Mm. So our topic today is about trading. No, no, I was just I was just curious cuz we've been together for seven years but I've never asked you that question. I know. Like what triggers you or inspired you or to you know na manghala ako sa mga nagsasalita sa news dati. Tapos yung mga company nila ganun. Tapos naririnig ako sa stock exchange. Actually nga nauna kong natutunan ano talaga eh, US eh. Cuz before guys, I used to hear them mga stock stock. Mm. But I don't care like the heck. Cuz I don't know it. Like, you know, I hear it lalo, from the lalo news. Lalo na sa no one yeah. cares talaga. I hear it from the news, I hear it from the TV like once in a while, but like I don't pay attention to it because wala, I hate numbers and I don't know I, I'm not basta di ako mano sa mga ganyang bagay <clears throat> that's why I leave it up to him but anyway mm. so he said that you started liking it because of the charts right mm. tapos ano tapos nag search ako kung sino yung mga naging successful doon tapos ayun lumabas na sila Warren Buffett si Ray Dalio si Peter Lynch <laughs> yun, yun yung mga ano yung mga legit talaga na in-idolize ko and you want to meet ko. them in person yeah Actually, yung si Larry Fink nga, kasi siya yung pinakamataas, di ba? So, parang gusto ko siya mabit. Pero yung mga ina-idolize ko talaga, ano lang, mga worth billions lang naman. Like, yun, si Ray Dalio. Kilala mo yun, di ba? Binabanggit. Yes, yes. Yeah. Tapos yung, ano, isa pa sa nag-inspire sa akin, lastly. At lately ko lang din na, ano, yung CEO ng SoftBank. Yung, ano, yung sinabi ko sa'yo na billion... Bill, yung na billionaire siya tapos na bankrupt tapos naging billionaire ulit mm. naalala mo yan si yeah I think I remember but I don't Masayo. remember the name Masayo Shisan <laughs> yung name niya CEO ng Sokpa kasi ano uh, siya yung ano yung parang pinaka gusto kong story na na ano owner ng investment company now let's talk about one big mistake you made overall obviously you're very successful in almost everything you've touched but You were making a lot of internet investments around the turn of the century, around year 2000, 1999, 2001. The market went down in the, in the, in the tech crash, and it is said that you personally lost $70 billion dollars of net worth, the l- greatest loss that any human being has ever suffered financially. So how did you feel losing $70 billion dollars of net worth? One year before that, actually, my net worth, personal net worth was increasing 10 billion dollar per week. <laughs> For three days, I became richer than Bill Gates. Wow. Was, did that upset him or? No, before I told to anybody else, you know, our stock 
start okay. crashing. Okay. <laughs> uh, so in, in uh, six months after that, our share price went down 99%. So we, we all almost went bankrupt. And somehow I survived. Because it, ano, it happened kasi to nasa, you. Oh, nangyari na yun. Pero siyempre, billionaire siya kung ngayon sa akin. Yeah, I know, but still, it happened ay, to you. Kasi, hindi <coughs> sa atin, kasi pera naman natin. Yung parang, Pero, yung, yung feeling, okay. yung feeling mo na na, shit, eto na. Mm, and then it all of a sudden, it, ah, no, wala lahat. That's why, guys, that's what I'm saying. Don't, Kaya feeling ko talaga, don't, ang, I don't, Okay, I'm not against if you guys are doing trading. Like, that's your own thing. Like, if you want to do investing, trading. Uh, ano ba ben? Ano lang. Mm-hmm. You can earn fast, pero pwede rin mawala lahat ng ganun ka bilis. Ano yung crypto or whatever? <clears throat> yeah. Like, mm-hmm. those things. Like, it's fine, guys. You can do it if it's something that you like or something that interests you. For me lang, siguro minimize sharing information, especially if you're a first-timer. Yeah. Because it's not something you learn in a short while. Uh-huh. Like yeah. no, like I said, I've been with this guy for seven, for seven years, years, and he's been doing it before we even met. And I don't even know anything. Yeah. Like not like di naman sa hindi alam ba? I barely know about it, and it doesn't interest me kasi. So I don't really like to learn it. But of course, I try. But I think it's just not my thing. Again, I'm not smart, so I don't like. Pero at those. least may natutunan yes, ka lang. Yes, I'm learning Kung things. Kung mas magaling ka nga sa iba minsan, eh, kasi mas may alam ko kaya sa iba. I'm learning kasi because of you, yeah. but so, it's not something that you can learn just because you heard it by someone. Hindi. And plus, kaya sa akin <clears throat> napaproud nga ako sa yung mga nagtatabaw sa bangko, ba mas may alam ka pa kaya sa kanila. Could be, could so, be not. I don't know. But, yeah. Siguro ako kung, kung ako naman, if it's me, mm. and I want to, to see or meet someone, mm. there are a few people I want to meet. Mm. <clears throat> and it, it may sound funny, but this is because it's my, my thing. Mm. Kung sa kanya, trading and money, mm. sa akin more of like, <clears throat> you know, artists and stuff. Yeah. First thing, there's a, uh, first thing I want to meet is Bretman. <laughs> I would. Yeah. I know. Another thing that's like really magical about this place is that it just sounds like nature at all times. Like, see? See, I speak birds and they said, that's right, bitch. Actually, I'm just... actually, I've I've watched Bretman videos. Mm. I was I was high school mm. <clears throat> here, and I saw his videos. It was funny. Um, I but that that wasn't the point why I wanted to see him. <clears throat> the the reason why I wanted to see him was now. Now that he's in pick of Nang his career, career like mm. how famous, I I'm just I just want to know how you make yourself still on the ground. Like how do you put your feet on the ground, mm. even though you're you're known by a lot of people. Because mm. I know, but no, not everyone who. Kaya nga may tinatawag na eh. Naka tikim lang ng yaman, nagbago na. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There, there's a saying Bye. like that, right? So for me, as a person who's been in the toughest part of their lives and was able to achieve the success that they want and still keep their feet on the ground, mm. I've always wondered what, what the, are the things that you do in order for you to remember to stay low key. Ito lang talaga yung pinaka-basic na sagat eh. Pag alam mong merong mas higit sa'yo, eh, automatic eh, humble mo yung sarili mo. Kasi alam mong may power Yeah, but people, people get blinded when they taste success kasi sometimes. Eh, yun nga. Kasi nga, spiritually, they're weak. 
sa success naman, hindi naman pwedeng men. Kaya nga yung mga successful na tao eh. Lagi nilang binabanggit for areas eh, di ba? You have to be physically, mentally, yeah. spiritually. <coughs> and, ano yung isa? Basta. <laughs> oh, ready, di ba? Kasi, una, physically, oh. Eh, kung sakitin ka naman, mamamatay ka na, ano yung mo success? That's true. Emotionally. Kung mahina, mahina ka emotion, paano mo papaanda rin business mo or career mo? That's diba? true. Eh, spiritually, kung wala kang sinasamba na Diyos, wala kang kinakatakutan, eh di magiging arrogant ka, di ba? Feeling mo ikaw na pinakamagaling. Totoo naman. Di ba? Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I wanna, I wanna meet him yeah. in person. And kung bibigyan ng chance, I actually wanna be friends with him <clears throat> if given a chance. But of course, that's not gonna happen. But okay na sa akin yung mamit ko siya. Mm. Okay na sa akin yung mamit ko siya. Feeling ko hindi dapat mamit. Dapat ma, ma makausap. Oh, makausap. Okay kasi na sa akin yun. Like, yung yung mamit kasi parang fun ka na ano eh. Yeah, yung that's true. Gusto mong yeah. magpa-selfie gano'n. Yeah. Pero, no, no, I don't want yung... selfie. I wanna talk to like, Bretman. Like, mm. have a one-on-one talk mm. about life experience, career experience, like, what makes you who you are right now. <laughs> yung mga ganong topic. Like, ang sabi. Saka ano kasi siya, walang pake na. Yes. Like yeah. I said from the previous podcast yeah. about Saitama, mm. I like that he doesn't care about what other people say. Same thing as Bretman. I like I like that kind of attitude of him na hindi niya kailangan magpa-impress. Mm. <laughs> you know? Like Basta, he... Basta, nagawa lang niya yung trip niya. Yeah. Parang yung mga manok niya, matang manok niya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does what he wants to do. He, he uses his money not only for for his family but to make himself happy. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun, yung hindi niya kailangan na, oh, kailangan ko gawin to sa family ko para maging masaya sa ano. Yeah. I, I'll do that but I'll also do something for myself. Like, I like that fact mm-hmm. na yung ganun siya. Saka parang rare, parang napaka rare kasi yung, ano, yung mga sikat na ano, yung totoo talaga sila. Ano. Yeah, it's very Mayroon rare. Kasi yung, 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 not, we're not saying naman all <laughs> pero like, there are people who, of course, we don't know where they're coming from, but I just like people who show their real self, siguro. <clears throat> That's why I want to meet him. Tapos, if there's another one, I know, hindi, hindi siguro, of course, the Filipinos will only know this. Hmm. Mga Pinoy lang may kilala dito. Siguro merong iba, but I don't know. <clears throat> I really want to meet the whole team, Bayaman. Hmm. Um, because I like I just want to know, like, how do you keep your friendship that intact mm. kahit na may kanya-kanya na kayong buhay? Mm. Feeling ko kasi, yun sa team pa yaman mm-hmm. na, ano talaga yun eh, pag-group ko sa feel. Because it's hard to find a group like that yeah, eh. Yeah. Pero, Especially, they have different, you know, hindi naman sila as in magkakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
place. Hanggang sa they had their own separate place, but in yeah, one compound. One so, like, I want to have that kind of, you know, friends. Mm. Like, alam mo yan, yung, yung, kahit, kahit may pamilya ko, magkasama tayo. Mm. Hindi man sa iisang bahay, pero sa iisang lugar. You know, that's, that is something that I want to have. Sa kalat na nakapaligid kay kong parang ano na success. Yeah. Na. You know, you know that's my kanya. dream. One like isa 'yan sa mga dreams ko na pagdating ng panahon, magkakaroon ako ng mga ta- like like friends, like real friends. Not that I don't have one, but I mean, if one day I become successful, hmm. like we become successful in hmm. life, I want the people around me mm. to be successful but not because I helped them mm. but because I inspired them to be successful. Mm. Kasi iba yung tinulungan mo eh. Like let's say bigyan mo siya ng, ng business mm. para makaahon. Mm. Kaysa sa nakita ka niyang tumayo ng uh, business tis, na-inspire, na-inspire siya. siya yeah. Nagpatayo siya ng sarili niyang uh, business. Yeah. Yun yung gusto ko. Mm. The, that's for me that's two different thing cuz gusto ko kasi yung tao na sa paligid ko magsimula yes, sila sa bottom hindi para pag umpisa sa no, bottom pero yung what ano, I mean is like magumpisa sila doon para maramdaman nila talaga yung totoong success mm. kaysa yung binigyan mo sila ng Do, meron naman kasi mga instances na hindi mo na kailangan hindi mo naman kita mag-umpisa sa bottom. No, but I mean, what I mean by... Ano lang, kumbaga... No, ang ibig ko sabihin by bottom is, let's say, gusto mo ng business. Mm. Siyempre, magsisimula ka dun sa, mm. sa pinakababa kung paano mag-start ng business. Yun yung mm. ibig ko sabihin. Ah, okay. So, yun, I want that. Yung mm. ganon. Mm. Na hindi yung, oh, ito, I'll give this money to you. Mm. And then you grow it para magkaroon ka ng money and you'll be successful. Ayaw ko nang ganun. Mm. I don't want that. Mm. Gusto ko, ito, magtatayo ako ng business. Tapos nakita niya, nag-grow. Uy, I wanna try that. Mm. Then he will ask me and say, paano ka nagsimula? Then, I can give him an idea, ganun, pero hindi ko bibigyan ng pera or hindi ko bibigyan ng bagay or hindi ko siya. Basta, gusto ko yung matutunan niya kung paano mm. palaguin yung isang bagay na gusto niya. Mm. Dahil, it's more, for me, it's more satisfying to see mm. something you build mm. without help of anybody. Yeah. It's like your sweat <laughs> talaga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasi, once na na-achieve mo yun, you'll be the proudest person you've ever think of. So, para sa akin. Pa. Kahit pa maliit yan. Kasi yeah, meron, it doesn't matter how meron big or small. Eh, yung, <coughs> siyempre, meron din ang mga kilala na siyempre, ginagawa din ginagawa ako, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kaso ang pinagkaiba, ako kasi nag-umpisa talaga sa sobrang late na pera, di ba? Mm-hmm. Tayo, nag-umpisa tayo sa sobrang late na pera. Siya kasi parang, siyempre, richy-richy. So, mm-hmm. nag-umpisa siya sa hindi tulad ko. It, but it's okay. not their fault. Yeah, oh, yung, oh, oh, yun yun lang. Yeah. Yun, yun lang namin sinasabi ko na hindi hindi sa liit o laki. Mm-hmm. Kasi, ano naman. Do, sa, dahil nga nag-umpisa siya sa malaki. So, mas malaki na siya. Mm. Gets mo? <laughs> Pero yung, yung ano namin, yung, yung nararamdaman namin sa loob namin na fulfillment parehas. Mm-hmm. Gets mo? Yeah. Kasi, ano eh, Parehas naman mga kami, Nag- mm-hmm. magka- magkaiba lang ng starting mm-hmm. point. Yun lang yun. Yeah. Yeah. And siguro kung if there is one more thing that I would always put in mind pag na nakamtan ko na yung success na nararamdaman ng mga taong ina-idolize ko. Mm-hmm. I would be I would be so happy kasi dati, I would say na dati tinitingnan ko lang sila. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, nararamdaman ko na kung ano yung nararamdaman nila. Mm-hmm sa estado ng buhay nila ngayon. So, it's, we, we look up, for me kasi, you look up to people, not because you want to be like them, but because you, wanna, you want to feel the success that they felt. Mm. In your own way. Yeah, in your own way. Kasi magkaiba naman yeah. sa'yo ng goal sa buhay. Imposible yeah. naman 100%. Yun, <laughs> for me, yun yung nagiging, I don't know, this is just my opinion, quote-unquote. Uh, for me, yun yung, 
yun yung mali <laughs> sa <laughs> mga tao <laughs> when they think of something they idolize they want to be exactly mm. that person or minsan kino-compare na talaga nila yes. literally yung sarili or mo. talagang ginagaya na nila kung ano yung ginawa ng person which is for me everyone for me everybody mm. is unique they have their own strength mm. they have their own ways to be successful mm. they have their own um what they call this talent they have basta unique flat ng tao for me is unique yeah They have their own flavor. And you have your own time. Yes, yun you have yung, your own yun time. Yung, ano talaga? Yan yung kulang talaga. Though, napaka, <laughs> ano rin naman tayo, ano rin naman tayo, guilty, guilty rin naman. I'm guilty with that. Because patience. time, it's, kaya nga lang, kaya nga, I always tell him, I think, it's not, okay, kung may kukontra, that's okay. Again, this is my opinion. For me, I don't believe in motivation. I believe more in patience. Discipline. Discipline is second. Pero number one ko, patience. Yeah. For ah. me, my number one is patience. Because you will... Kasi, for example, di ba, motivate. Motivate mo yung sarili. Hindi na motivate mo. Hindi kasi araw-araw motivated. Yeah. <laughs> Or hindi, inspired For example, ka. nag-workout ka. <laughs> motivate kang mag-workout. Ah. Pero yung eagerness mong pumayat, hindi ka makapaghintay. Mm-hmm. gets mo. So, it's like, you have to have that patience because it's very hard. P- para sa akin, pinakamahirap talaga pa- mapag-aralan is patience. Because we, we as, a, as a person would always want to see the results as fast as we can. Um, <clears throat> because we always think that someone is achieving theirs and someone is better than us na and we're still at the bottom. I think that's the main problem why we lose patience so same goes sa mga <coughs> idol natin they had their own time yeah. and they work for it that's why they are on that state yeah, so ikaw dami nga ano eh yung parang na-reach na nila yung peak tapos tumanda sila nawala mm-hmm. nawala pa di ba yeah. Ta- and meron din meron din yung, yung may sobrang, mga taong sobrang kasi guys, hindi lang naman kasi talaga pera. Yeah. It's not money. It's not always it, it is part of it, but it's not always about money. There are people who are rich, but they don't feel like they've the reached feeling their ko, feeling own money. Ah, misinterpret ang rich sa wealthy. Yeah. Feeling Uh-oh, ko. Feeling ka din. Kasi ang rich kasi ano, money. Yeah, money. Money lang. Yeah, money lang. Ang wealthy kasi yung lahat na. Hindi. Yung wealthy is more like, ano, para sa akin, ha, ang mm-hmm. definition ko ng wealthy, ha, yung hindi mo iniisip yung pera. Mm. Yeah. Yung ginagawa mo lang yung gusto mo everyday, masaya ka sa ginagawa mo everyday. Kasi, pwede ka namang maging wealthy na maliit. Sige nila, wealthy. Pwede ka maging wealthy ng maliit na yung kinikita mo araw-araw kung masaya ka naman sa ginagawa mo. Well, well para sa inyo, ng wealthy. Kaya nga sabi nila, diba? wealth is health. Yeah. Kasi ang wealthy kasi, pag wealthy ka, ano, hindi ka mamawalan eh. Kasi masaya ka sa ginagawa mo araw-araw eh. Gets mo? Mm. Kung may ginagawa ka ng... Kung ano man, kung ano pagsasaya, trip mo sumayaw. Oh. Kahit maliit yung kinikita mo, pero nag-enjoy ka araw-araw, hindi ka mapagod gawin Totoo yun. Naman. At araw-araw kang kumikita. Mm-hmm. ba diba? Totoo naman. Eh yung rich, oh, sabihin natin, o oh, sige, may one million dollars ka sa bank mo. Pero kada, kada gazing mo sa umaga, <laughs> para kang patay dyan <laughs> kaya mo bumangat sa kama mo, di ba? Yeah, so, that's true. Kaya, who I want to meet, siguro if I don't know this person, baka gusto ko rin siyang ma-meet ako? pag naabot niya na yung success niya. Sino nga? Bakit hindi? You know what? Siguro be, he, doesn't, he doesn't believe me because we're in a relationship, but... Mm-hmm. I I admired him a lot not because we're in a relationship I just admire his perseverance. Sa ano tagal ng perseverance. No, I no, I admire his perseverance sa bagay na gusto niya. Kasi kahit parang buhat na ng bangko eh. No, kasi I saw you from From the day we lost everything, mm. from now, and I know 
how much you carried yourself up, even though it's so hard. Sheesh. Yeah. Okay, if you become rich one day and successful, I would say I will be the first person who would always admire and look up to you. Yeah. So, sa interview ito, mm. paano ka po yung mama? Charot. <laughs> Charot lang. But is there any more people that you want to meet <laughs> or ask questions or... Kung yung medyo hindi serious. Ang okay. Masyado seryoso kasi yung mga sinabi ko. Uh, so, sino naman yung hindi serious? Yung mga, kung ako nari artist lang din. Mm. Siguro ano. Pero parang medyo relate pa rin sa business. Okay, that's fine. Si, yun nga, si Steve Harvey. Ah! <laughs> Oy, sa totoo lang, gusto ko rin mamit yun. Ah, parang... He, he... Uh, well, napaparang ko lang naman kasi yung mga shows niya. So. Hmm. But he sounds so real kasi. He sounds... Hmm. Basta he sounds real about... About everything. <clears throat> kung mamimit ko siya, siyempre, to have a conversation with him. naman. Pero kung selfie, selfie. Steve Harvey. <laughs> ano, magpapala ko sa selfie dun. Totoo naman. Eh, comedian yun yun. Yeah. Siguro kung ako naman, kung pero kung, kung pero pag deep talks, mm-hmm. Steve Harvey. Siguro kung meron akong gustong ma-meet, pero hindi siya serious. Mm-hmm. So totoo lang, gusto mo ma-meet si Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, gusto ko siya mm-hmm. ma-meet si Kevin Hart. Kung kung hindi serious ah, mm-hmm. gusto ko ma-meet si Kevin Hart. Alam mo bakit bigla ko ay trip ko si si Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. Meron kasi siyang <coughs> mga ginagawa na ano na tawag na, na parehas pala kami. Nabanggit niya narinig ko lang. Ano 'yun? Yung sa trading din. Ah, okay. Oo. Parang parang lahat naman halos na ng mga uh, nag-inspirational to. May may ano sila, may side may ano sila, yeah, na, na, ng trade. Yeah, napansin ko lang, yeah. like, lahat ng influential talaga ha, like yung influential people. Mm. May part Like Gary V. Sinong Gary, eh, Vaynerchuk? Mm. Ah, okay. Nakala ko, hindi, yung baka mamaya, si Gary V na nga, eh. No. <laughs> yung kumakanta. Wali siya. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Gary V, sila. Kahit naman yung may ari ng Facebook, Di ba? Kaya nga sila may stocks eh. Like, you know, most those... May part naman lang kasi yun. Part. I know. So, kaya nga parang mostly naman ng, in- ng influential people na talagang, you know, kilala. Mm-hmm. They they have that side of them about trading or investment yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Real estate. Yeah. Yun lang. Kaya kayo guys, sino yung gusto nyong ma-meet na tao? Mm, comment down below. Comment down below kung sino yung taong gusto nyong ma-meet at bakit. Huwag nyo sabihin sa akin dahil gusto nyong magkaroon ng kadate mm. <laughs> na koreano ang gigilok mm. sa inyo. <laughs> But like... Hindi, hindi dapat ma-meet yung parang... Uh, makausap. Oh, makausap. Who... So... <laughs> sabi... <laughs> comment down below mm. the person you want To have a conversation with, mm. a serious conversation with, mm. Mm. about either success, Her life, life or... experience, relationship experience, as long as it's serious, comment down below. Malay nyo, pagdating ng panahon, mamit namin siya, and we were able to <laughs> ask na, uy, gusto ka po kausapin ni ganito, okay lang po ba, kahit 10 minutes lang. O, di ba? <clears throat> But, yeah. I think, just to end everything, um, to end this podcast, what I would say is, we look up, and we want to meet people, and we, out, and we idolize those people. Because we already know ourselves na we want to be, to achieve the success we want in life. Da tama ba yung term na idolize? Wala lang mas lamang mag-idolize. Huwag lang yung idolize to the extent na mas iniidolo mo na siya kaysa sa Diyos. Yung, uh, That's different. Yeah. That's hmm. different. You so, idolize them because of their idol. Hindi, kaya lang kasi baka mamaya mali, mali yung term na idolize. <clears throat> Mm, okay lang naman yung idolize or someone you look up to or someone admire you admire or mm. you're, you're inspired with. Kasi kung 
kung meron mang number one, syempre, si God yun. Pero, syempre, if, if it's a person, then that would be the person hmm. you really want to meet and talk to. And hopefully, dun sa mga nabanggit namin. If you guys would be, if ever you get to this video and accidentally watch the end, <laughs> yeah. you skip to the end of this video. Hopefully, one day we get a chance to speak with you guys. Because if we if we get a chance, you know, pag na skip mo to sa pinakadulo, like if you were able to skip this until the end, it doesn't matter if you didn't watch the whole thing. As long as you skip all the way to the end in this part. And you were able to see this. Hopefully, you my but Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> get to you. We hope that one day we will be able to meet you and talk to you. Um, even just for five minutes, that's something big for us. Mm. And I'm gonna look at this video that when that come, what when that day comes, I'm gonna look at this video and say, oh, Mom. I asked for it. I got it. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, that's it for our podcast for today. And we hope to have more podcasts and more interesting topics on our next video. And guys, again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any suggestion you guys want us to talk about. See you on our next podcast. Hi. Yes, sir. Nantok na siya. Ha? Di halatang inantok ka, ano? Nantok ba? Guys, good morning!